Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. I've been looking at the new Metric AB plugin from Plugin Alliance. It's designed to help with the hardest thing about mixing, perspective, keeping sight of the big picture. We all know that using reference material while you're mixing or mastering is a good idea, but do we all do it? Really? Metric AB makes that easy to compare your project to commercial releases in terms of its frequency content, um, correlation dynamics, loudness, the stereo image. Um, all of that stuff, but the whole time it leaves this AB button prominently under your fingertips. This switches between door playback, which is blue, and your reference material, which is orange. And you can load up up to 16 reference tracks. It handles all the common formats, including FLAC. And uh, we all know that loudness matching is really important. So uh, you can do that with a single click. What happens is uh, if you just hit match, it'll match your reference material to your door playback. And now you can just swap between the two and compare your mix to that release you wanted to use as a reference. If it's the last thing you touch, you can use the return key. Now we're ready to use the tools in Metric AB to help our ears. Metric AB has got one of the most usable spectrum analyzers I've seen. As a conventional analyzer, it's great. It's very readable. You can change the ballistics and you can display peak or average or both. And you can zoom. If you use the filters, which are available on every page and you link them with the zoom, then you can set it up so that you hear what you see and see what you hear. Like this, which is really nice. Or, if you want to, you can use these presets. And what's nice is these persist between your door playback and your reference, which is nice. The AB comparison goes further, though. You can display both the A and the B streams, or you can display them layered on top of each other. In the different graph types, you can, for example, display third octaves superimposed on each other, or just octaves, which makes interpreting all this information loads easier. The correlation page looks after mono compatibility. This meter on the right shows the phase relationship between the left and the right channels. Plus one at the top's mono, zero in the middle means the left and right channels are completely different from each other. Anywhere in this top half is mono compatible, but anywhere past zero isn't going to work perfectly in mono. The history view plots the position of this correlation meter, either since you started it running or if you hit scroll, it shows a fixed window. That's really useful, but some out of phase information can be acceptable. It depends where in the frequency spectrum it is. You can see that in the meters view. Meters view lets you see where the out of phase information is. If it's in the top end, it's probably adding some nice width to your mix, and it's worth checking in mono to see whether it sounds dull. If the cancellation's lower down, that's going to be more of a problem. The simple correlation meter doesn't show you that, and of course, you can AB between your mix and your reference. The stereo image page lets you check the left-right balance of your mix across the whole spectrum and compare it with your reference tracks. So you can see some clues as to why if your reference track sounds wider than your mix. At the bottom of the display is an overall image rating for the full range audio. The area above expands the measurement across the whole frequency range and lets you see which parts of the spectrum have the most width and movement. The line shows the position averaged over time. You can change the time, or if for double click, you can return it to its default. The filled area shows the range. Using this as an indication of width, as opposed to position, you can change the ballistics, or you can use hold to build up a picture over an even longer period. There's a lot of information here, particularly when viewing your mix and your reference. Viewing octaves can help. If you want to concentrate on a particular area, you can zoom in. And if you link the filters, you can hear what you're seeing.
This tab measures the relationship between the peaks and the average level in the track. Specifically, it compares the peaks with the short-term loudness, and you end up with a number. A big number means there's a big difference between the peaks and the short-term loudness, so the audio is very dynamic. A small number means the opposite. Once you know this, this page is easy to read. Just remember, higher values don't mean louder, they mean more dynamic. If you set an appropriate target dynamic range from the drop-down, you can measure your dynamic range against this target and check you're not squashing your mix too much. And of course, you can AB against your reference. I'm setting the target dynamic range of 12 for this master, but for a mix I'd aim quite a bit lower. You can see I'm squashing it a bit too much here, so I'm going to pull back the volume control in master desk. So I'm just about on that target dynamic range. Loudness can get complicated, but it's really important. Now we've got a good way of measuring perceived loudness, and since the major online streaming companies have moved to loudness normalisation, there's no point in getting your mixes as loud as possible anymore. Metric AB makes it easy to choose the right target level and reach it while still being able to make sure you're not squashing your mix too much. The meters view gives all the loudness stats you could need for your mix, for your reference, or for both. With true peak metering and peak to loudness ratio readouts, you can keep track of the transients. Just select the appropriate target loudness. All tastes are catered for from polite through to antisocial. If you prefer to just choose a spec and make sure your master meets it, you can just dial it in, knowing your master's going to survive streaming. So there's a quick tour around what's on offer in Metric AB. There's a lot there, but it's really worthwhile because Metric AB helps with an issue we all have. So try the demo.